Good morning. My name is Leanne and I'm here to tell you a Bible story today. This is a great story about a person named Joseph. Before I tell the story, do any of you have 11 brothers and sisters? Wow, if you do, you have a big family. Joseph had 11 brothers. There were 12 children all together. Can you count to 12 with me? Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is a lot of children. And his daddy's name was Jacob. And Jacob had twelve sons. And Jacob liked Joseph the best. Wow. That would hurt my feelings if my daddy liked one of his children better than the other children. But that is what happened in this story. Jacob loved Joseph best. Let me show you what it felt like to be loved um, the best and not the best. All right, so this is a coat. And this says the coat which was given to all 11 of Joseph's brothers. So the daddy took care of the 11 brothers. He gave them a coat. Oh, it was a nice coat. He gave it to the first brother. He gave it to the second brother. He gave it to the third brother. He gave a nice coat to the fourth brother. He gave a nice coat to the fifth brother. He gave a nice coat to the sixth brother and the seventh brother and the eighth brother and the ninth brother and the 10th brother and the 11th brother. And then he gave a coat to Joseph. It was a beautiful coat. It was better than the brothers' coats. And the brothers thought, why does this guy get the best coat? Why does dad like this guy best? And they got so grumpy. And then when Joseph started wearing his nice coat, he started saying, you know what? I had a dream. I dreamed that we were in a field and there were 12 wheat sheaves, which is like where you cut down the wheat and you bundle it together. 12 bundles of wheat, but mine was the best bundle. And so all of your bundles knelt down to me. Well, the brothers were angry. And then he had another dream. He said, oh, I had a dream. There were 12 stars in the sky but my star was the brightest and everybody bowed down to me. And the brothers thought, we don't like this guy. How come he gets this coat and we get coats that look like this? How come he gets treated like this and we get treated like this? We're sick of this guy. So you know what they did? They did a naughty thing. They took Joseph and they took his coat off and they threw him in a well and they pretended like wild animals ate him and they left him in a well. When we don't think we're loved, we do some crazy things. I don't know why Jacob liked Joseph best, but this is what I do know. He loved all his sons. But they didn't know it. I'm glad that you are loved. I'm glad that I am loved. Wow. Let's take a moment and just think about somebody who loves us a lot. Oh, gosh. I'm loved. So are you. I'm so glad we're not like these brothers and we don't feel loved. You're loved. And that's an important message because when you don't feel loved, you do some crazy things. I want you to remember, no matter what, you are loved. And this isn't the end of the story of Joseph. It has a happy ending. And we'll tell that part of the story another day. Bye. Thanks for coming.